What's up guys, Tom Matthew here from feelandtomplus.com and today I'm going to show you how to add a call to action annotation to your video. Okay, so here we are on our YouTube channel and the way you add a call to action annotation is you simply go up to each, you're on your channel and you click video manager. So you're in your video manager and you scroll down to the video that you want to add the call to action annotation to. I'm just going to choose this one as an example. You hit this little arrow and you hit annotation. Now this is the page that comes up and this is where you add all your annotations. Now a call to action is simply telling your viewer what you want them to do. Do you want them to subscribe? Do you want them to comment? Do you want them to like the video? Or do you want them to click on the link in the description and go to your website? You want to tell them that and the way you do that is you either you do it in the video but you can also add an annotation. So the way you do it is you choose where you want your annotation. I like, let's use, I like to put one at the start and ask them to like the video. So right now if you you want to choose where you want to put the annotation, you use this little playhead here and it will go to the point in the video. Now I'm going to put it at the start, so let's just drag it back to the start. Now to add the annotation, all I do is I go up here and click this little arrow and I like to choose speech bubble, a note or a spotlight depending on what type of annotation I'm doing. Now let's just use a speech bubble. So I click on speech bubble and then I just click on here. You can see down here your annotation has been added. Now up here I can write in what I want. So I'm going to say so I'm going to say if you want more free video marketing training please hit the like button. And boom, I've got that in there and then I just come over here to the actual uh, speech bubble and I can drag it out and I can make it as big as I want. As you can see, it makes it a little bit bigger. If I want, I can go over here, change the actual font size, go up to 28 if I want it and have it real big. I can have it really big if I want, but I like to just have it small at about 16. I like, you can change the, ch ch the color of the box and you can go over here and change the color of the text. And then I'm just gonna drag it in, make it a little bit smaller. And there we have it. Then I drag it down to the bottom. You just click and hold and drag it down. And there you have your annotation. Now, if I hit this play button right now, the annotation is going to go. And you can see the annotation down here. This is representing how long the annotation will actually play. So, right now, if I just drag it to the end of the annotation, the annotation is going for roughly 20 seconds. So. You can either make that the whole video or you can shorten it. I like to have them small because personally when I watch videos and I see a lot of annotations all over the screen and they're there for a long time, I turn annotations off when I'm watching a video. So I only like to have them, you know, about 10 seconds and no more than that. And right there you've got, if I just drag the playhead over, you can see the call to action. It says if you want free more video marketing training, please hit that like button. I'm telling them what to do. Please hit the like button. That is a call to action. It's telling your viewer exactly what to do and it drives engagement. It drives dialogue. It drives engagement with your customers and that's how you build with your viewers. That's how you build know, like and trust. And then all you do once you're done, you go up here, you click apply changes. It's probably already saved. If it hasn't, just hit save then apply changes. And if we click on the video, you can see I've got it on mute, but right at the start, the call to action, if you want f want more free video marketing training, please hit the like button. And then they can go down here and hit the like button, which is really, really good. And that's how you add a call to action annotation to your videos. So there you have it guys, that's how you add a call to action annotation to your video. If you got something out of this video, please hit that like button below. And if you have any questions at all about adding annotations to your videos, please put them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, we put out a new video every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so please subscribe. See you later.